Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you guys another gameplay for City of Heroes. So as you can see, I did add a newer character, but this I'm thinking about saving for later, my character of Hermia. And yes, was I somewhat inspired by the Eternals movie and how the characters were essentially named after Greek gods? Uh, yes, Angelina Jolie's Athena did inspire me to create this character. Did I watch the movie yet? No, you don't need to know my personal reasons for that. But I might see it eventually. When? I don't know. I'm a busy college student. Doesn't really allow me to have a lot of free time to go to the movie theater right now. But I do have a little bit of time today to get this up for you guys. So I do not think I'm going to take you guys through the playthrough of the beginning with this character. Because you event... Because... Keep in mind, you play the same um, starting missions as you did, as everybody else does. You start off working for the um, for the loyalists in the beginning. You do all the same missions that I did with this character already. So, do I want to take you guys through that again with this character? No, that's boring. So, um, so I'm going to play through with this character eventually once I get to the, um, the resistance missions. Um, I think that that's going to be a good compromise and a good way to go. Um, I basically redid this character called Winx. I redid her so many times and I think I'm finally happy with how the character looks now. I mean, call me anal attentive, but... There are just times where I'm just dissatisfied with how characters look when I create them. Luckily, I got to a point where I'm actually happy with how Jewel Hunter looks at this point. I think that looks great because I didn't even realize that the, underneath the robotic arms, there was an option to have the fire and ice like as part of the right arm. I didn't know that until I actually um, looked through all of the customization options. So now I think I'm actually happy with how this character looks. I'm going to keep it like this permanently. So I'm going to take you guys through its Ikesia because I want to do the Nova Praetoria missions. I want to just get her out of there already. Want to know why? Because once you hit level 20, you can go into the regular City of Heroes. And to be quite honest, um, the choices that you make um, definitely impact the gameplay experience with this. And I definitely want to see how my choices impact me when I switch over to the Resistance side. And I'll see like what different choices I will make as I play through. Because... Honestly, like, I honest to God think that my choices will eventually change and she might go back to being part of the loyalists by the end of it. You don't know. You never know. Like, unless if you plan on sticking it out the whole way through um, with one side of the coin, like I plan on doing with Lady Tara or Mrs. Elemental, you just never know how your decisions will change or what choices you'll make later. So that is why I'm honestly experimenting with um with this one and this one because as you continue to make different choices you're viewed differently in the eyes of everybody so it definitely does make it more interesting but it definitely does test um what you think is morally correct so um so i'm gonna go in with her and bring her into nova praetoria now All right, so we did this um, mission. So now we have to return to contact. Return to Praetor White. I was just going backwards, wasn't I? Yeah, now she's at level five. Now she's at the point where I get to pick um, which characters she works with. All right. So here we go. I want to honestly make the right choice here. So I'm going to call Provost, Merch Provost Merchant. Nice to talk to you, Psychesia. My name is Merchant, Provost Merchant. You may have heard of me. 
I am one of the oldest members of the regime, having been around for all of the Hamadan Wars and even before. The one thing I seek above all else is the safety of Praetoria. Sometimes that means rather extreme measures. Other times it means ensuring the members of Powers Division get what they need to continue their work. What exactly do you need? Ask about available missions. First one. Do you know about the Deputy Assistant of Information? He's an up-and-comer within the government. He has a lot of ambition and asks me to contact you. Normally, I wouldn't send you this way, but if you're looking for a chance to make a name for yourself here, the Deputy Assistant is the way to go. He has a habit of finding information on things that shouldn't be found. Deputy Assistant of Information is the start of the power storyline for the Loyalists. Those who are in power use the law for their own benefit, whether it be to gain power, fame, or glory. If they do help the people of Praetoria, it's only because it happened to fit into their own plans. People who follow the power path are often praised by the people as heroes while hiding their true agenda from the masses. Okay, that's obviously the one I do not want if I am trying to make myself a hero. Let's be real. Because I would never do this if I were a hero. That seems more of like a villain arc. Let's be real. But at the same time, it, it's, it's all your own choice. That's what I love about this. I love here that you get a choice. But I am going to choose Chief Interrogator Washington. Do you, knew, do you know about Chief Interrogator Washington? I'm sure he knows about you. It's his job to keep various departments in Praetoria together and investigate any possible crimes. He's heard of your work in the Powers Division and wants to start some cases with you. Chief Interrogator Washington is the start of the responsibility storyline for the Loyalists. Those who follow the path of responsibility seek to protect the people of Praetoria without oppressing them. They seek to enforce the law for the peace and safety of everyone, not for their own gain. Uh... Hello! What do you think I'm gonna pick? Obviously, the responsibility storyline. Hello! That is me. Be careful with Washington. He has the mind of a jackal and the body of a lion. If you have any thoughts of signing with the terrorists, he'll know right away. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do this. So, yeah, you see it. Everybody has their own choice. I love it. Hello, Psychesia. My name is Washington. I assume that Merchant has already given you the introductions. I'll cut to the chase. If you're here talking to me, it means that you're out to help keep Pretoria safe. I can use more people like you by my side. There are too many show-offs in the Powers Division and even the PPD. You can see reflecting in the state of Praetoria, destroyers lounging around. Even those resistance scum are making their way to the surface. Someone needs to enforce the law and keep the peace. That's going to be us. Let's get started. White told me to be expecting you, Psychesia. He said you had some worth to you. Well, we'll be putting that to the test. We've got a situation here in Nova Praetoria that we've been keeping hushed up. But my men in the PPD have finally gotten some leads. So now, the time is right to call in Powers Division for assistance. Which brings us to you. Ask about available missions. Hit List. Part 1. Serial Killings. Psychesia. Over the last few days, corporate CEOs have been winding up dead. Lots of them. Near as we can tell, these are assassinations, though we have no idea who will be next. Thanks to the unique murder method, Amanawire Geralt, we know that the assassin is Sig Bowman, a syndicate hitman. We've had the seers scanning for unusual activity, and we think we've got something. That's where you come in. I need you to check this out. Check out unusual activity. The Sears detected heightened anxiety levels within the Carpa Corporation and our attempts to make contact with anyone inside the buildings have failed. This stinks of Bowman's M.O. I'm sending you over there to find the CEO, Ms. Danielle Fields, and get her safely into PPD custody. 
we need answers. No more dead bodies. I'm gonna go into the store. I need to load up on some inspirations now. Perfect. Let's go, let's do this. Have some fun. I wanna make sure that I'm high in the air for this. Elysian Avenue, probably named it after Elysium, the, um, the ancient Greek slash Roman equivalent of heaven. Mm. Quite fits. Oh, I landed down way too soon. Okay, we have some syndicate people here. Load up. <laughs> Heal myself. rest to make sure that I'm fully loaded up. Alright, let's look at the clues. It's hot. A welcome wagon of Syndicate Go Gangers tells you that this place is hot. Time to find Ms. Fields and get her out of here alive. There she is. You find Danielle Fields unconscious on the ground. Ask her if she is okay. There is no answer. Check for vital signs. You recall Miss Fields over to check. You roll Miss Fields over to check her vitals and see that her threat has been that her throat has been cut by a monowire Garrett. Close her eyes and search for the killer. Wow. Whoa. We'll find him. Oh man, I'm stunned. And I didn't see the new Spider-Man trailer yet in its full um, entirety. I didn't see the whole entire thing yet. I just saw pictures. And all I can say is Electro Jamie Foxx looks so much better than he did in that Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. And believe me, I love everything about the Amazing Spider-Man 2. I think that that was Andrew Garfield's best Spider-Man movie. But the villains looks like crap in 
looked like total crap. You know what I mean? Like Jamie Foxx's Electro did not look the best. And I think we can all agree that Harry Osborn's Green Goblin in that movie was a disaster. So I'm hoping that this Green Goblin who shows up is um is the version of Harry from the uh, from the second Amazing Spider-Man movie because I think that he needs a makeover. <laughs> I think he's long, long, long overdue for that. Okay. Where to look first? Where should I go first? And I'll check up here first. See if there's anyone up here. No. It's one of those stupid um, levels of stairs that leads to nowhere. Dead end. So many dead ends in this office space. taking a rest. Let's be real. And it looks like I'm going to get up to level six today, just from this mission alone. There he is. There's Bowman. Let's get this guy. Make sure we hold him still. Because he has super strength and he can knock the crap out of you. the clue. Two clues found. Let's go back to our contact. But wait, we have to look at the clues first because that can lead to something important. Fields is dead. Sig Bowman is a name well known in the syndicate underworld. As a high priced hitman, Sig has always delivered good on his contracts. His calling card is assassination by a mano wire, Garrot, an outlawed piece of hardware that uses a mano flaminant wire to cut through flesh, bone, and even body armor. It appears that someone in the syndicate hired Sig to execute Ms. Danielle Fields, CEO of the Carbo Corporation, and the other murder victims. 
whatever their motives, were most likely died with Ms. Fields. But Washington might be able to get some answers out of this scumbag. You picked up Sig's smartphone. From the looks of it, there are no recent calls in memory. He either erased it or had it on him for some other purpose. I'm just saying, anybody who models a city after ancient Rome and names things like the Magisterum, thinking that they're worthy of being gods is a major, major special kind of... I don't even want to say the word. It's too horrible. And I try to refrain from cursing on this channel. This is a family channel. Or at least I try to make it that. Hit list. Part 1. Serial Killings. I'll begin questioning Mr. Bowman shortly. Until then, I notice that you have his smartphone. It's his smartphone. May I see it a moment? No calls, no numbers. Interesting. Aha! Very clever. Mr. Bowman has an application that lists establishments he has checked into recently. A popular pastime among citizens. Do you notice anything about the list? Look at the numbers next to each location. Most of them are restaurants with several visits each. But a handful are the addresses for a number of office buildings around the city. Only one of them has one visit. While the ones with the two... Those are the ones who have recently had their CEOs assassinated. I believe we found Sig Bowman's hit list. I think we're working out well together, said Kesia. Let's make sure things stay that way. Ask about available missions. Hit list part two. High value target. There's only one person left on Bowman's hit list, said Kesia. Charles Monroe, the CEO of Sifletain Industries. We're not waiting for these seers to report a disturbance. I want you to go in and bring him into our custody for his own protection. Remember, just because the seers haven't detected any disturbances doesn't mean that there isn't a danger. If anything changes, the seers will alert you. Get in there and bring Monroe Get and bring Monroe out. Don't accept any resistance on the matter. Okay. All right. Enhancements. Let's plug some in. Nice. I think that's all that we have. So let's do this Charles Monroe mission and then I think we'll be done with her for the day and we'll see what other characters I can do. Whoa, who tried doing that? Whoa. Probably, uh... I don't know who. Me one of the destroyers.
Hold on, I'm mutagen, I think. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. There we go. Mutagen. Quite useful for when you're trying to take them down. Stun some briefly. Oh, there they are. If I can just get up there. Actually, I can. I have the stairs. I, have, I can fly to my advantage. <laughs> Found a clue. The syndicates were in jail. Oh, there they are. More of them. Before I can even read the clue. Syndicate were engaged in a bloody shootout with each other. Why would they be fighting one another when their target is obviously Charles Monroe? Oh, there he is. Or is that a hostage?
There he is. Oh man. Just what I need. Another psychic. Come on, let's get you out of here. Why does he look like a character out of The Simpsons for some reason? Yeah, this guy. He looks like a character from The Simpsons. Can't recall which one. Okay. Let's see if we can find a way out without alerting the others. You're doing good. Oh my god. Wait. You know what? Let's fight these guys off first. Because obviously they're... No, actually... Before they even try to find him. Bring him to the door. Alright! Clue found! Woo! We didn't even have to fight anybody on the way out. <laughs> ah, the perks that come with that. All right. Let's go back to this guy. And also level up with Dominatrix. Charles Monroe is the CEO of, of Cyphotine Industries and an upstanding citizen. He has agreed to cooperate fully with the authorities in tracking down who is behind the attempt not only on his life, but the murders of over half a dozen Praetoria's corporate and social elite. Charles Monroe has just entered PPD headquarters. I spoke with him briefly while he was en route, and it appears that one of his corporate rivals may be responsible for proposing a bounty on Monroe's head to the syndicate in order to eliminate their competition. I suppose that is one method to achieve a hostile takeover. As for the syndicate fighting amongst them one another, it's likely that there is competition for the bounty. Either that or someone in the syndicate doesn't want Monroe dead which could be very interesting. So I think I'm going to cap it off here with her for today and we will continue this 
another time. So, so far, the story is unraveling. I'm actually reading everything closely, which is something that I wish I'd done so many times. Like, the amount of times that my decision would have changed if I'd just read things closer, if I'd looked a little bit more closely at the details, then that would dictate my decisions that I would make personally. You know, th like, this is something where you have to read every single little thing. Because if you miss any detail at all whatsoever, then there's no turning back. There's no going back from that. So, do we want to continue with Sky Princess today? I think we do. I absolutely think that we should. I think I just want to do one mission with her for the day, and then we can log off for the day. Okay. So, Matthew Habashi. Don't call him. Just go to him. There's a lot to be done before Atlas Park is returned back to normal, Sky Princess. Let's get to work. Part 2. The People's Protector. It sounds like the Hellions are either planning something big or they know something big is about to happen. I'll admit, I'm kind of new to the whole business of taking down criminals like this. I was just a guy working behind a desk before the galaxy incident. I think I have an idea on what we can do next, however. What are you thinking? Officer Nelson is taking charge of the PPD's cleanup of that neighborhood. He'll know about anything going on with the Hellions. I'd go, I'd go talk to him. Oh, yeah, here's my cell phone number. You can call me at any time. This way of communication is much more efficient. All right. Let's go. Oh, somebody hit me with a nice boost. Which is always nice, but I didn't really ask for that. I didn't really need that. Sky Princess writes, I heard you're responsible for helping us take back this area. We all appreciate it. You and Matt are already doing a lot of good for this city. It can set an example for those lazier heroes. It's a shame that his wife Dana died in Galaxy. But anyway, we can use more of your help here if you're willing to give it. Wait, Matthew's wife died in Galaxy? He didn't tell you? Doesn't surprise me. He's a very focused guy. I don't know the details. All I know is that he said she didn't make it. If you want to know more, I'd ask him. Will do. What can you tell me about the Hellions? The Hellions are over in Prometheus Park right now. We've got reports they've kidnapped several people and are trying to take others in the park. Someone has to stop them, but we don't have the manpower to keep this neighborhood safe and go after them. It'll be up to you to make that happen, Sky Princess. I'm on it. Leave it to me. All right, rescue a certain amount of people. I forgot how much I love the weather control powers she has. Mutagen. Hit him with that stuff. Now we just gotta do one more.
And also, I have to mention this about the Spider-Man trailer that just got released yesterday. I think that if um, that if Emma Stone comes back as Gwen Stacy, but in the form of Spider-Gwen, I would definitely say that Marvel would be setting the bar much higher than they did before. Like, the bar is already set high, but if they bring in Emma Stone as Spider-Gwen, the bar will be, like, even set higher. You know? Like, they just keep raising the bar every time now. Alright, let's see where we have to go. Hey, you keep on taking all the good ones. Whoa, hold on. Wrong direction. Wrong artifact. Let me go after. Where do I go? Down here. All right, beautiful. Find an artifact that exudes dark magic. It seems the Hellions are using this perf to perform some sort of dark magic in the caves beneath Prometheus Park. You notice this small label on the side of the artifact, reading Property of Magi. All right. Time to go. So let's kick your asses on the way out the door. Percy Jackson has nothing on me. I might as well go level up with Ms. Liberty. Model this character after Superman, cause why not? Lady. Okay, someone named it after Storm. Not even close. Oh my god, not even like Storm. Light shine. I swear to god, like one day I came across somebody who actually made a character modeled after Homelander, and I was like, what are you doing, dude? Seriously? Like, why in the hell would you make a City of Heroes hero modeled after Homelander from The Boys? Like, that is the worst character to, like, model anybody after. You know? <laughs> Matthew Habashi. Okay. Matthew here. Oh, Sky Princess. Good to hear from you. What's going on with the Hellion situation? I found an artifact they had. It looks like it belongs to Magi. Great. I mean, that to be sarcastic, by the way. The Magi vault in Galaxy City was destroyed during the incident. There's probably hundreds of dangerous artifacts floating around Paragon now. At least we've got one of them. We'll get, we're getting reports, however, of more missing people. Probably the Hellions work. Cursed artifacts, crazy cultists, missing people, never a good sign. You're right on that one, Sky Princess. We need to find out where the Hellions are keeping all of these people. Did you find anything? Did you find out anything else? What happened to your wife, if you don't mind me asking? My wife? Nelson told you, I'm guessing. I. We were in Galaxy, Dana and I, when the incident happened. We were trying to get out when a bunch of those 
monsters separated us. I distracted them to give her the chance to run. We were split, but I thought she would make it to the evac to the evac point. When I arrived, she wasn't there. I tried to wait for her, but Longbow and Vanguard reported there were no survivors and then took us all away. When I got out of Galaxy, the FBSA put me straight to work on helping Atlas. All I can do now is try to push forward and fix things here. <sighs> There'll be time for mourning later, right? I suppose so. What's next? Well, I think I've, I think I have an idea on what we could do next. It's a little crazy, but I think it might just work. What do you have in mind? We need to find out what we need to find one of the Hellions bases and get information on what they're planning and where they're holding those hostages without them knowing about it. Which means you'll need to get yourself some information and a disguise. You've got an idea on where to get both? I just might. We're getting reports about Hellions loitering around one of the tunnels nearby. Any, an eyewitness said that it looks like they might be guarding a possible supply cache. If you take down the Hellion informants, you can find out where their cache is. After that, you can disguise yourself as the informant to get in there and find some information. If we go incognito, we might be able to catch them off guard. And by we, I mean you. Sorry. Psst. Yeah, of course. Okay, let's go. I'm debating if I want to give her electricity or ice powers later. When she reaches that certain level where you can get, like, a different power set. Alright, let's get these guys. Let's just go in and do this one. And then this will be the last thing that we'll do for the day and then I'll log off. I hate how slow they freaking move. You sift through various items belonging to the Hellions and find documents detailing something called the Ritual of Souls. There are details here on where the ritual will be taking place, that it requires for pure souls, and that it will summon a powerful demon to cause chaos and destruction in Atlas. There's also mention that an outside source gave the Hellions the components to perform this ritual. Take the information and leave. The Hellions. I wonder if they were named after that X-Men group, or whatever they were, that Emma Frost ran. At one point, yeah. I think that's where they got the name from. But I actually think that if, that um, in terms of characters that I like best that are kind of similar to the Hellions, I like the Warriors a little bit better. I like the Warriors better. Simply because they use axes, they use swords, and they kind of made me want to have bladed weapons with characters. So... This is where I am going to end things for the day, and I think I am going to use this as my on. Let me snip. Nice. Oh, wow! <laughs> nice! That is perfect for the thumbnail! And this is the only way that I can get a thumbnail because I don't have any other way to, um, 
to do it. I can't really um, do this with any other game, so this is nice that I managed to get a good thumbnail of this character right here. I'm actually pretty proud of that. All right, so I'm going to just log off for the day. God bless. Happy gaming. See ya!